Hey, good morning everybody. Happy Monday to you. I wanted to show you some things I was playing with over the weekend. Um, I made some tags, some Halloween tags, and what I used was um, the new Distress Metallic Stains. But you know, I should put those where they go. Okay. And these are just a lot of fun. I did, I have found, you do need to shake them, and I have found also that it's better if you do a couple of coats, like one, let one coat dry and uh, then do another coat. Okay, so I wanted to show you um, what I did, what I used. On um, this one, I used the silver, uh, well, it's the brush pewter distress stain, and you do have to shake it up. There's a little mixing ball in there. And what I did also is I used my um, Sizzix, or you can use your cuddle bug. I think I used my cuddle bug. And I used these um, textured impressions folders. And as you can see, I put the, um, the spider right down here. And you can probably see it better on the other side. And then I used this one, this gothic fence, to go around the edge of the bottom. And then I put the barbed wire up here across the top. I don't know if you can see that one very well or not. So, and then, um, after that, I took, I'm pretty, sh oh yeah, it's um, Broken China. I'm pretty sure it's Broken China. And um, I experimented, and the Distress Ink didn't really go on here very well. Um, it's kind of resistant and, and just kind of soaks in. And also I found out that, that it would soak in. That's why the back of this tag is so dark is that it was soaking in. Finally, um, I think what I used was the, my distress marker. And I colored over it and then I wet it down just a little bit to spread it. But um, it, it is a little difficult to get um, the ink to to show up over top of the, the uh, metallic stains. I also used uh, black archival ink and that worked a lot better than my black soot distress ink so you might want to consider that using the archival inks. And then what I did was I used um, the new sticky embossing powder and I want to show you how that works. So I just got a little uh, um, tag. So um, also you know I used um, some stamp sets uh, for um, my tags and I used the Apothecary from Stampers Anonymous, the Halloween cutouts and I used the Halloween blueprint. So um, let's make yeah that's a little too large. Let's um, let me make something that's um, that'll fit a little better. Okay, that <laughs> barely fits, but we'll use it. I'm going to use Happy Halloween on this tag. So I'm going to, first I'm going to stamp it with, or I'm going to ink it up with embossing ink. And I'm going to stamp that on my tag. <laughs> It that way. Make sure my little stick out ends here. Okay. Then I'm going to sprinkle the sticky embossing powder on it. Let me get uh, something to put underneath there to catch the extra. Okay. I'm going to pour that on there. Alright. I hope you can see that that's on there. And let me get rid of this extra back into the container. This is the coolest stuff. I'm going to heat it up. And melt the powder. And you will know when it uh, has melted, you'll be able to see the, a change in the appearance. Okay. Now it's sticky. 
So now I'm going to pour over, to get this back over here, I'm going to put some glitter on. Just going to pour this glitter right on top of it. This is um, some Martha Stewart fine glitter. No, I missed the place. Okay. And you know, I should have gotten the static off of the rest, the other part of my tag. Let me put this back in, and then I'll use that to clean off my tag. This stuff is really, really fine, <laughs> and it's everywhere. Okay. Even have it on my phone, which is right next to me. And of course, you all know it's in a purple case. Okay. Actually, let's try a brush. This is a brush that comes with embossing powder with the perfect pearls. So, anyway. There you have. I brushed it off in some places, but you can just pour it, you know, right back on. And that's an easy way to have a raised glitter. So I think it turns out really pretty cool. I really liked it. Um, this weekend was my first time working with it, and uh, I really enjoy it. I, I like it. I'm going to use it a lot. I can 